everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be decorating my family room for spring. And this is kind of what we're working with. I've got a bunch of stuff here and I'll explain what's happening on the other wall above my couch. This vase that I've used quite a bit, you've probably seen it. And I believe these flowers here, they're kind of like um, faux cherry blossoms, I think. I had to bend them a little bit. Got those at the dollar store years ago. Um, it's funny because I actually was supposed to do a video with different ways to do an entry table and I haven't done that yet. Um, and I try to think of different ways to display things. Sometimes you tend to do the same stuff. Um, you know, you can even just be as plain as this. Have this in front of, I feel like this has to go this way a little bit guys, there we go. Yeah, you can just have that like that and it just kind of makes a simple statement but I decided to put it over here. And what I'm doing in this corner is I'm using some art. This is something new for me. I've never done this in my family room. And I'm just gonna lean it over here. I like this, it's just simple and black and white. And I'm gonna lean that over here like that. Push this back a little bit. And for me, that's something different. I've never really used artwork over here. You know, maybe I can show you actually a couple ways while we're decorating. At first, I just had this. You know, you can put the artwork in the middle. Maybe you can lean that like that. And have, you know, something over here, maybe some beads. Um, but anyway, this is the way I kind of decided to style it. And I will always tell you, things can change. Um, I may be doing like a small spring home tour, maybe just with three rooms. And um, you know, something could change from then. I actually have made a couple of changes in my kitchen and um, uh, dining room a little bit. I hope you are well, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Um, I am also on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram as well, and please consider subscribing if you are new. And also, you know what I forget to tell you guys each time, make sure you like my videos and hopefully the algorithm will help me move up. I'm trying to grow my channel. I have this picnic basket that I got from Goodwill. Maybe last year, I think, one or two years ago. I'm just gonna put that like that. I got this blanket off of, no, I didn't get it off of Amazon. Oh boy, it was in one of my shopping halls. I think it was, I usually shop at Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, so it was one of those, um, and sometimes Home Sense. Um, but it's really nice up close. Got a little bit of a fringe. It's lighter weight, which is nice for spring. And I'm just gonna kind of plop it in here. Kind of like that. And then in the corner, I have this. I got this. I think at the Christmas tree shop, I'm not kidding you, years ago. Hey, I always liked this for spring. And we're gonna put that on the bottom. And the one thing I have also here, I have a little white stand and a little bird's nest. Everything I have, I've had for a while. Um, my print that I'm gonna put on the mantle is new, I'll link that. Um, otherwise, the other stuff I've kind of had for a long time, but if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. So I've got my little bird here with a couple tiny little eggs, and I'm going to put that over here like this. Just adds a little bit of something. And bring it closer, so I thought that came out kind of pretty. Get my head out of the way of the mirror. how that is looking. All right, so the next part of this, um, I'm gonna show you the print that I got off of Amazon up close. And then, because I'm pretty short, um, instead of you watching me do uh, gymnastics and trying to put the print up on the mantle and possibly falling, um, I've got my little step stool, but I'm gonna show you this and then I'll have to bring you up closer because I'm uh, kind of propping you guys up a little bit and um, you know the, the tripod and it's just not getting the mantle all the way it's a tall mantle so I got this um, I feel like I got a little bit of dust on here and my mantle is tall it's high so anything I get it has to be pretty big so I got this beautiful spring print I'm trying to show you up close this is beautiful I really really like it 
and I love how it has the black frame to go with some of my black accents in the room. And the white against the white fireplace, as weird as that might sound uh, with the white flowers, but it, it does match. It's kind of funny, my son saw it one day, he says, oh, look at the sailboat over there and everything. On the left, never noticed. See it there? The water in the background. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like, oh, I didn't even see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up. And I thought it looked really, really pretty. I'm gonna try to center that. I wondered if, because I have some things going on here next door, I would leave that kind of by itself. So I could do that. Um, the candles are always there, although I have one that doesn't work. Um, but anyway, so you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. I kind of like it alone like that, but I'll show you what I did end up adding next to it on each side. I got, um, at Hobby Lobby. And then I have, I know you're supposed to decorate in threes, but I have two like DIY pots that I did. I do have one other one, but it's like the same size as this, so it doesn't really do it any good to do it in threes. And I'm gonna put those, oh, can I show you something? Ready? I know, I know. I think I banged it into something. Um, so I'm still using it though. I like it a lot. I did it myself. Um, one of my first DIYs that I've done, so uh, we could just hide it. So what, right? Who's gonna know? All right, so put these up here. I did have flowers in that other taller vase, um, but I think it was too much. So that's how that's looking. So let me know if you like it by itself. Just like I said, I got all that going on. But it does add a little something, I guess, right? All right, and now we gotta put something right there. We're gonna add this basket, which I actually do a lot, and I'm thinking, oh, I got a basket over there with blankets, I'm gonna be putting one on that chair over there, but I can never have enough blankets, I guess, in this here. I'll pop this like that. I might even stick that back in, I'm not sure, maybe just show the pillow. Um, and maybe one day I should get a nice plant to add a little bit of height. All right, say hi to Sophie, everybody. <laughs> All right, so here's the scoop. Um, should I be showing you this even though it's not done? Maybe not. Am I going to? Yes, it's real life. Um, I think, like I keep saying, if you guys have been following me, I did have this, um, I called it a floating shelf in the last video, but it's a ledge. Anyway, I, it didn't end up working out. Um, I don't like it, so we're gonna take that down and I will insert a picture of what I'm thinking of doing as far as a picture wall. Um, so I was just starting to kind of figure out what pictures I need and Frank started a project downstairs, as you know, most of you. And so that's gonna be on hold. I don't hang pictures, I'm not good at it. I'd be afraid I'd really mess it up. I did get a new clock off of Amazon. It's got the black with a little bit of gold, so I thought that looks nice there. I got these on my, was it my last haul? I'm kind of losing track now. Um, they're like a nice linen material, okay. Two of those. These actually um, can be washed, which is great. Got these at Mar Marshalls, I believe. I'll have to, I'll link the best I can. Uh, I think it's Marshalls. So that was good. Um, but they're nice and puffy. I like a nice cushy pillow. And then these are the ones I showed you another time. I got off of, um, these are pillow covers from Amazon. Um, actually it goes this way. I'll just put that here like that. I had these by themselves, but I found that it looked a little boring. You can get away with it, but it's a little boring. And um, I don't know, so anyway, I decided to have two. That, okay. And then same thing on the other side. Put this over here. There. 
So these are what the pillows look like up close together. Very neutral, as you know I am. Hey, so Sophie, she the cutest or what? And yes, that one ear is always up. Oh, she's deciding, she's deciding to come down and nestle herself right in the middle. <laughs> All right, and over here, I'm just gonna add this one blanket. I've had this forever. Like I said, I'm using most of the stuff I've had for a while. And I'm just gonna put it over this chair here. That. I've had pillows there, but a lot of times if people come over, they tend to sit right there and they're always removing the pillow. So I could put a pillow there, but um, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then this was in my kitchen. We had a, a little vignette going, but I'm gonna use this for my husband's, um, I've got a full plant and his iPad, the remote, and some of his uh, like earphones and charger. I'm gonna put that right in the middle over here. One day we'll update our coffee tables, but for now you'll work with what you got. And my husband got this lamp at Costco. I really like it. I'll show you up close, show you the base. But it's really kind of a different kind of a lamp. I really, really like it. And like I said, he got it at Costco. I don't know what he paid. It wasn't that much. I'll just make it nice and cozy. I got this moss plant a while back at Home Goods. Showed it, showed it in one of my hauls. I like the little weaving there, faux weaving. And I'm just going to add that. I actually had this on the bottom of the entry table it looks really nice but this looks kind of bare and i'm awful with pictures i really got to get it together a little bit with my photographs of family and stuff um so anyway i'm gonna come around so i'm not really in, right in front of you my back facing the wrong way but we're gonna just place that over here in the middle and i think that really kind of brightens up that spot all right so now i'm just going to take you around and show you what i did all right, we started off uh, with our entry table, making it look nice and cozy, adding some warm touches. Some artwork, a little bit of layered artwork. A little picnic basket, blanket. Coming over to our mantle, I love that print. I'll try to link that. That was from Amazon. Blanket, everybody. I like how that basket looks. That's a little bit of texture to the room. I'm just kind of plain windowsill, but I like the moss, the green kind of pops. I'm also gonna insert um, a little bit of footage here and I'm gonna try to put in a couple pictures um, I should have did this in the beginning, I forgot, but we had done this family room over a little while ago. Um, we lightened up the floors, we had them re-sanded, and my husband just ended up, you know, cleaning up the room. He had to paint the walls again. Um, he did the ceilings over, we had popcorn ceiling, but um, the main thing was to lighten up the floors. Um, <laughs> Sophie, we were stuck uh, without a family room for a good, I think a month or so maybe more. Um, but anyway, the floors came out really, really nice. We did not get rid of this slate. Um, the floor is like from the 80s or 90s and it's hard to find. So we could have ripped up the slate and got a whole new floor, but it would, would have been way too, uh, too much money. So we're like, you know what? Just leave it like it is. It looks fine. It's a beautiful floor. So 
So I will try to insert some pictures. I have only a couple. I thought I had more um, before pictures, but I don't. So anyway, uh, I am inserting this now, but should have done it before. So uh, that's what the floor is looking like. but I want to show you how I refresh my family room for spring and hopefully that wall will be coming soon. Uh, the porch is going to be coming up. Stay tuned for more content. The porch, the backyard, um, plenty of things. The rec room downstairs, my bedroom which I've never filmed. I've got to get some new bedding. We got new furniture a little while ago and I've got to get new bedding, possibly a bench for the front of the bed. Um, so anyway, we've got a bunch of stuff coming. I've got some future collaborations coming with some great women here on YouTube. So stay tuned. So I hope to see you soon, everybody, and have a great day. See you later.